Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today is a super quick video. I was asked uh, after showing a Pilot Blue Black ink recently um, to show uh, just a comparison of the Pilot inks, particularly the, the blue, the blue black, blue, the blue black and the black, just so you get a sense of sort of how they all mix. And I thought while I was here, I'd also just show the red things. So those are the four colors I have from this range. Now I have them in the uh, little bottles here, the um, I think it's 30 mils are they? I should know this. Um, anyway, the, the sort of small bottles, and they're really great bottles. Um, they're sort of, you know, they fill up easily, they've got a nice wide neck, all of that sort of stuff. But these inks also come uh, in cartridge form uh, with the Pilot proprietary uh, cartridge system. Um, and they're really, really solid, really affordable, and really quite widely available inks. Um, so what I thought I would do today is just quickly show you these four inks, um, and then you can see sort of how the blue-black fits in, um, as that's where the question arose from. Uh, so we'll start at the top with the black. Now, this is a nice, as a, all I've done here is done a little swab and a little bit of writing and then a comparison of a couple of other inks with the Pilot. Uh, so Pilot Blue Black, nice solid black. It's got a good performance. It's rich, it's dark, it's, you know, there's a little tiny little bit of sort of gray shading uh, where less ink goes down, but not enough to make it sort of noticeable. Um, and if you compare it there to Lamy Black and then Noodler's Heart of Darkness, uh, you can see it compares pretty well. Like Noodler's is a, is a nice hot dark black uh, and Lamy tends to be a sort of a slightly lighter black. Uh, so it sits nicely with those. Now the question always is with a blue black is is it is it on the blue side or the black side and with the pilot I say this is on the blue side. Um, it's got a little bit of sheen there. It's quite a nice uh, blue, good performer, not super wet, a little bit of sheen as I said, um, but it is quite blue. Not when you compare it to pilot blue, uh, but when you look at it against uh, the black there, you can see there is a lot of blue in it. Um, and if we look at it here alongside, now, so this is the blue black that comes in the pilot petite one, uh, which is, I think, one of my favourite sort of blue-black inks. It's quite dark. It's not quite as dark as the Diamine 1864 blue-black, but it's darker and it's sort of more in the, what I consider blue-black. I would consider this Pilot blue-black to be almost like a navy blue as opposed to a blue-black. Um, it does dry a little darker than it goes on, but this has been on this paper for a couple of days, so this is as dry as it's going to get. Um, the blue there is quite vibrant. It's a beautiful blue. I really, really like. Um, it's not too saturated um, and not a high sheener, so you do just get the colour of the blue, which I think is great. Compare it there to Waterman Blue, which is a little bit darker, and of course Bay State Blue, which is one of the most vibrant sort of blues in this sort of family. Uh, you can see that it is a little less saturated. But it's still a really nice blue, and they will perform really well. Then we have Pilot Red. Now this is a slightly pink, sort of highlighted colour red. Um, it's bright and saturated, it's got some gold sheen, which you can probably pick up a little bit there. Uh, and then if we compare it to, once again, Waterman Red, which is a great red, uh, and then Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red, you see it's quite light and it's got a sort of almost a vermilion sort of colour in it. Now if we look at the reverse of this page, just for the sake of the exercise, um, you'll see that everything performs pretty well. Um, there's rodeo, this rodeo paper is designed to be ink friendly, of course. Um, it's the standard, uh, but nothing sort of bleeds through here, and they perform really nicely. They're well performing, really affordable, really available, good stock standard inks that I think are perfect for everyday use. Now, the range isn't huge. There are a couple of other colours you can get in cartridge form. There's a sepia, there's a green, things like that. Um, but these standard colours are, I think, really really great i would be happy using any of these as the standard of this particular color uh, they perform well the cartridges i wish they would you know obviously that uh, they're proprietary to the pilot system um, but they're once again really affordable really available you get a good amount of ink in them if the pilot converters were as good as the cartridges we'd all be happy uh, and but if you know, this ink was available in international um, cartridges, then I think it'd probably get a bit more uh, use in that respect. Um, but as I said, they're also available, of course, in bottle form, and I've got the small bottle, but there's a 
one size up in this as well and then I think the larger one for a couple of colors as well so to summarize these are good inks they're affordable they're widely available they're safe what more could you ask for so check out the pilot inks if you haven't um, they aren't fancy but you know if you need a really good everyday performing ink they're a really great uh, option I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, and if you've got products you think I should be looking at, get in touch. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, your ink, and your writing. And I'll talk to you later.